here in the furry fandom, it is well known that we like to commission art of our character. But what is the difference between going with a well-known artist versus a relatively unknown artist? Let's find out. Hey there, Turtle Squad. I'm Tommy Turtle, and you are watching Turtle Time. As I said earlier, we're covering the difference between commissioning a well-known artist versus a small artist. Representing the small artist today is my guest, Bussy Paul. Uh -huh. That name sounds familiar to you? Well, she was in another one of my videos. Hang till the end to find out. And representing the well-known artist with a Twitter following of 36k on their strictly safe for work account, it is Terranen. They cannot be part of this video itself, but they did give me their answer. All right, we'll start with something basic. Fussy, what made you decide to start taking commissions? Well, I've always really liked to draw. It's always been a really big passion of mine. And when I first started taking commissions, I was probably around maybe 14-ish. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't like meant to be a job thing for me. It was mostly just kind of like, hey, I would like to buy like designs and stuff on DeviantArt with like points. I think I, I mostly started making commissions because I wanted to get things from the community itself. And then a little bit older, I, when I got like a PayPal, I had started taking small ones to just buy stuff that I wanted. And I stopped for a while. And then I decided that when I decided that I wanted to do art as a career, I decided that maybe I should start doing commissions again so that I can get started. Because I know it takes a while to kind of build up to a bigger audience and get consistent commissions. Right. So I guess I did it at first for commercial reasons or to purchase stuff from the community and then because I wanted to get more into the career aspect of it because I wanted it to work out for my, in my favor. Perfectly understandable. And plus, by taking commission, you get to practice it. That's very true. I do get to practice things that I don't normally draw like comfortably in my own time, and it does widen like my, I guess, artistic repertoire of things that I am, I can draw and provide clients. Such as a drawing she did for me, shown here. I wouldn't actually still have to practice too. I'm not used to drawing like non like super fluffy animals, and so that was really good practice for me too. So that was definitely a lot of help for getting an example from the people who might be good art characters and people that and practice and drawing it themselves. Yeah. Anyways, let's get into the questions I asked both of you. Question one. How many times a year do you open for commission? I probably open them somewhere between like once a month to once every three months. It kind of depends because, I, okay, I take three commissions at a time every time I open. And depending on the workload, it takes me a while to get through those three in my queue to reopen commissions. Although usually if I have one slot open after I complete one, I will open them again to take another one. But it depends on like my workload and like the type of commission I get and also like my mental health at the time because there are times where I'm not a super fast worker or I'm dealing with stuff personally. So I don't know if one, once every three months to once every month is a good answer, but that's probably a bill, right? I think. Mm -hmm. For Karen and answer, I'm going to bring it. I have been opening commissions almost every month. Sometimes keeping months off between. Reason for that kind of timing can have been because I was employed for a long time. And in Finland, they have a sort of rule that you can occasionally earn extra money. If I would have taken commissions more often, I could have been considered a business owner, which wasn't possible for me at that point in my life. At the moment though, now when I recently opened a business, I haven't had time to take any new commissions since drawing extra content for Patreon, etc. It takes a lot more of my time, so we'll see when I have time to open some again. Number two. How many slots do you normally take at a time? But they already said she normally takes three at a time. Why do you take three at a time? I figured it was like a good place in terms of money, like to take that many, but also like not too many to where I get overwhelmed. I take three active commission slots, and then I have a waiting list that also has three slots on it, so that people can kind of queue up to oh, get a slot when it's open. Um, mm -hmm. That's also sometimes what it takes a lot for open commissions because I'll have like three people in my queue already that are open for commissions whenever I need to be the ones that I have. Although there are times where I might take an extra one or something, like if I'm always at this point, I really want to like, commission a one for getting me money. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get that. At, or like if you're running YHCs, your character here, and for a holiday event. Alright. Terran answer. I usually have taken just one commission at a time. I open Google Form applications where everyone who wants to apply can send applications, and then after some time, I choose the one I want to take from the application. I prefer this system over the first come first serve because I have more freedom to choose what I want to draw. Also, I like working on just one drawing at a time, so my full focus is on it. Other thing is that I don't want to keep other customers waiting and that I finish the ones before 
there. I tend to stress a lot over things like that even if customers tell me that there is no hurry, take your time. I still keep stressing. I feel that honestly. Some customers say go ahead and take your time. Just keep me updated. Others want it right this second. Yes, it's very true. I do have a rush fee for um, people who want it at a deadline. Although some people even without the deadline fee, they're still kind of impatient. Question number three. How many hours a day do you normally work on a piece? That is a little bit of a hard question. Because I'm not a super good worker or super good here. Sometimes where I will go a couple days without drawing it all and there are some days where I will go several days just working all day. Um, so I guess in days where I'm in a very worky kind of mood, I guess I can work from maybe anywhere from like 8 to like 12 hours. Not usually on one piece. On one piece, it depends on the commission because uh, well, obviously they're charged based on like the quality and easier commissions obviously will take less time than commissions that are a lot more workload. Mm -hmm. uh, like for example, a, a bus shot, like a shaded bus shot might take like maybe three-ish hours on the top of my head, but a painted piece might take up to like two days on a like, consistent work game to do. Uh, I feel you on that. Terminant's answer is, with commissions and my regular work, I usually spend at least two hours a day, up to six to ten hours, depending on my inspiration and energy at the time. I think that's everyone right there. If we are feeling inspired to do a task, and we have the energy to rock and roll with it, we can just hunker down and keep rolling. Otherwise, <laughs> We might be dragging our feet. Okay, and the fourth of the basic questions on commission process is how quick is your typical turnaround? That also depends on the type of commission. Although generally, even for smaller ones, like I said, it can take a couple days for me to actually work up to starting a drawing, mostly because I spend a while kind of thinking about what I want to do. And if I try to push myself to draw, it doesn't come out great. And I don't have any good process doing it. And then I know that I won't get out work that is that I feel good with. I turn around so anywhere from like maybe two weeks for a smaller commission, sometimes a little bit less or more, and for like larger commissions it might take upwards of like two to four-ish months. For example, I got a commission recently on Tumblr, like a regular customer of mine, they wanted four drawings in there like for the commission, and that took me I think around four or five months to complete all of them. So it really depends I guess as well, but at least usually two weeks to maybe a month, even for smaller ones. Commissions usually take me a bit longer to make than my own work, as first I do some possible sketches to show customers and discuss what they want before I take the payment. They keep asking me a form of customer between each drawing step, lining and flat color, if they are happy how it is currently look, or if they would like me to change something. Because time zones and stuff, so I might need to wait for the reply before I can keep working. But in general, Commissions works take me three full working days to max two weeks. Again, just depending on my inspiration slash energy, and if I have stuff to do outside of of computer work. So Terranin has a relatively quick turnaround, but with life and everything, it might take a bit longer than two weeks for her. Now for a what if piece. This is a piece off the top of my head. The piece is a jumping pose like in High School Musical with six characters. Three standard species characters like wolves, the cat, protogen, and three uncommon species like octopus, turtles, and birds in general. For this, there's three questions. First question is, would you take the piece I presented to you? I think I would. Like, I obviously have like a TOS for like, I, if I will draw, so if I won't draw, and as far as I can tell, none of that really violates any of that, so I, I'd be willing to take it, and if I'm not super well versed in it, I will practice until I find something that I'm comfortable with giving. Terran N's answer is typically that is a type of commission I wouldn't take, no matter what the species are, since I prefer to do one or two character pieces. Six character piece would be really overwhelming for my skills, even more so with the kind of action type pose that I'm not so used to draw. Now, most people tend to have a character pose in a set way that they're just used to drawing. Mm -hmm. So action poses like jumps, and it's outside of most artists will have. Oh, yeah, I could understand that. I'm definitely, like, I wouldn't be, I definitely haven't practiced poses like that, but I know that if I were to not take it, I would never get better at it. I would take it even if I did not think I'd be good at it, because I would get some practice in, and I would make sure the client liked it anyway. I'd take revisions and stuff, and speak to you they like, please. Our point on that one would be the multiple characters. Most artists will only do maybe one or two characters max per piece. So having six plus characters on the board adds a new layer of complexity because you gotta figure out how they all relate to one another or on the page. 
Would you agree with that? I agree with that. That definitely makes sense. It can be hard to make like all the characters look like they're a like, part of a piece or like their own separate drawings. And I can definitely understand not wanting to take information from bigger characters because it'd be hard to make them all look organic in a sense. Number two on the board is how much would you charge for the piece I described and why that amount? It would depend on a couple of factors. Like, for example, would you want the characters to be shaded or like black color or etc.? And also, how you would want the background to look like if you would want something fully fleshed out or maybe a little bit of a background or just no detailed background at all. Let's go ahead and shoot for the moon on this one. So, fully shaded uh, with like a complex background. Mm -hmm. Okay, it'd be around $220. I do have a small fee depending on like how complex characters are that may add $5 to $10 for like depending on the complexity of a character. Like if it is a super detailed design or like a character that might be hard for me to draw. If I had to guess, $220 to maybe at most around $200 and let's say $60-ish. Interesting. So approximately $300 there's give or take for the piece I've described. Mm -hmm. Uh yeah, pretty much. Terranen's answer for how much they would charge for this. In general, my prices have been 250 euros with just one character with background. Adding new characters would be a minimum of 100 plus for each new one. I haven't uploaded my a prices for this year yet, so the current price is going to be a bit higher. The pricing has come from what I think that the other artists with similar content and skills have been charging in general, and the type of supply and demand. There's a lot more demand than what I can do. Oh, also, when I do the YHC auctions, it helped me to see what some people think my content is worth when there isn't a set price. So Terran is a bit more expensive artist, but that's because they do have the skills to pay the bills in this case. And they do judge by the others in their general skill bracket. In addition to this, as they have set up a method to judge what the audience thinks they're worth by offering YHC auction. Third and final question in the what if piece category. How long would you think it should take you to do this piece ideally? Considering like I don't have any major life changes or I don't have a lot like really like bad things going on or something I need to have my attention on and I'm maybe having a good time working like I'm not super unmotivated or have art block. It would probably take I want to say somewhere between like two months to probably four months. So a little under half a year, oh, yeah. if all the stars align perfectly. Terranen's answer is six character price with background. I think it should, would take me at least two weeks, maybe even a bit longer since it's not the type of piece I would generally enjoy doing. So my inspiration could be pre pretty low with it. I understand when you take pieces that are not in your normal wheelhouse. And hey, with space, it, life comes first. Art comes second. Even if your job is to draw the art, if you have something coming up with your life, it comes first. If you have a job outside of doing art, that comes first, generally speaking. Just if you do have to put the art on the back burner, inform the commissioner that life's happening and need a little bit more time. I want to give a big shout out to both Fuzzy Paws and Terranen for answering these questions for me. As promised, Fuzzy Paws, as was actually in another one of my videos, a joke corner. Linked in the cards above and description below. And if Terranen sounded familiar to you, well, both Fuzzy Pop and Terranen made it onto my top 10 furry artist list. Pinned in the comments below. Be sure to check out later and see the more amazing artists. Links to both Fuzzy Paw and Terranen's Twitter are in the description below, as well as mine. Yes, I do have a Twitter. And make sure to check out these two wonderful artists links as well. Oh, one more thing. Fuzzy Paws recently got a new cat, so if you want to support the cute bean here, make sure to get Fuzzy Paws to give you a commission. Pay for this commission. Do not ask for free art. Be no, the kitty. Not. And if you like what you saw and want more of my content, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell for notifications when my next video airs. Leave a like, or maybe a comment. Share with friends, family, other furry friends you might know, or people who just like cat pictures. And I hope to see you all next time. Bye-bye. Johnny.